I've wanted so desperately to apologize every day to, to, to darker skinned actresses, to say, I'm sorry that I'm, cho I'm the one chosen. My mama looks like you. My mum looks like you, and she... It's been very painful to have women that look like my mum. Feel like I'm not representing them. That I'm taking from them. Taking their men, taking their work, taking their truth. I didn't mean to, you know. So there you go with Tandy Newton. I believe that's how you say her name. She's a, a sister from out of the UK. You guys have seen her on different movies and shows from Westworld, I believe, to Norbit. Uh, a few, I think she's been in a couple Tyler Perry movies, if I'm not mistaken. She's been in uh, 007 movies and things like that. Um, beautiful young lady, but it's it's not odd. But this is something I believe goes on with a lot of biracial sisters, and I'm gonna say that I know a lot of y'all got a problem with me saying that. And sisters that are more light skin or have light skin or light complected and things like that. That they tend to feel this type of way. And I did a video, a reaction to a video about um, Latinas and other women who date darker skinned men. And a lot of the, a lot of women sometimes get upset because of that. And there's, there's a complex and this isn't a woe is me feel sorry for the light skinned girl and things like that. But I feel like with, I believe, excuse me, that these women do have a complex sometimes that they have to, you know, in order to be accepted, date a more dark, a darker skin tone man so that they can feel like more accepted or more black. I.e., for example, uh, Malcolm X's mother, if you guys are familiar with that, his mother was from Grenada and I believe she was half white. Um, she got with Malcolm X's father and married him because she wanted to have dark, darker babies. For that she re she kind of resented the fact of, you know, how she was born, so on and so forth. So she wanted to make sure she had dark skinned baby so that was one of the reasons why she did it and i i've encountered a lot of light-skinned women throughout my life that have done similar things and you talk about people will talk about how sisters will you know despise light-skinned women and their hair and things like that or mix women and things like that but they love to have mixed babies which i saw that on a meme i thought it was kind of funny even though the topic isn't really funny. Sorry, guys, I'm a little under the weather. I'm still trying to get over this. But for her to go as far as saying within Hollywood, her taking movie roles from other dark skin women, which is something that goes on with the whole colorism concept, which I'll link the video here for you guys to check out. I've done years ago in reference to colorism. And I believe even Tyrese was talking about this with Terrence Howard, but sometimes it just boils down to who has talent and who does it as well. But this has been going on for quite some time about light versus dark, especially within our community or any community where there are people of color, there's always going to be light versus dark in whether that be Indians, Dominicans, you know, Hispanics, anywhere where there are people of color, the light skin is always going to be an issue where you have it better or the house versus feel Negro, so to speak, which is what's talked about as well. And it's still a joke. It's still going on. It seems like it's not going anywhere. And I don't think it's really going to go anywhere until everybody pretty much looks the same, which who really wants that at the end of the day. But like I said, once again, it's still going to be this whole colorism thing of who has a darker skin tone. Now, she apologized. She went as far as breaking down and crying. And I can only imagine how long she's been holding holding this in. And a lot of you ladies probably watching this like, what was me? You know, she got all this. Why is she crying? Da, 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 da. 
but this was heavy on her she's like there's real the representation her my mom looks like you is basically what she was saying my mom looks like you we didn't ask when i say we <laughs> i'm trying to be inclusive we as in all of us light skin dark skin, we didn't ask to come here and this is how we ended up here this is what we look like and it is it, it is what it is at this point you know but in america and i'm pretty sure other places where there's media because there is a a a push for the lighter complexion to be the standard of beauty across the world especially the european standard of beauty being for all races but we got to have to look at who perpetuates that and how easily brainwashed and influenced or whitewashed if y'all like to call it that people are that they'll try to alter themselves to look like someone that they're not and not be content with the way they look not be content with the hair not be content with the skin tone not be content with any of the features that they were given even though there are other races trying to emulate these features everybody wants to be everybody except themselves and i've constantly said this and it's a it's a it's a it's a subject that goes into bullying and things like that on both ends you could say we can argue who's got it worse dark skin people have it worse light skin people have it wor- have it worse i mean why 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 does it have to come to this <laughs> it's 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 so it's so stupid when you, when we look at it in the grand scheme of things it's so stupid you know but that's why it's important for people to be seen in 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 the media for these things to be projected in you know obviously the past 30 40 years they've been trying to push it trying to make it more frequent but there's still an absence in media when it comes to uh diversified culture that's shown to the masses but hey who am i i'm just a guy that's on a mic uh, i think it's it was very she didn't have to do that i think it was very telling of some things that she might have heard her whole life that's probably been beaten into her her mind her whole life and has changed the way how she interact with people and vice versa the way people interact with her inter- interact with her because some people think just because you have a certain skin tone that you you have a certain air about you or you have a certain arrogance or you have a certain anger just because your skin tone these preconceived notions that because my skin is lighter i feel like i'm better than you or i know that i'm better than you and you're less than and people will project those things onto you thinking that that's how you feel or you'll put these certain people up on pedestals or you treat people different i.e i'll hear women say that uh dark-skinned guys treat light-skinned women light-skinned women so much better than they treat uh a dark-skinned woman and vice versa a light-skinned guy will treat a woman like crap because he feels like he's the prize or he feels like he looks better than her and things like that so these are things that we hear in the black community but you don't necessarily hear this in you know the uh dominant society you don't hear stuff like that because it's not really a thing to my knowledge at least but anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. I think it's it, it obviously it, it goes on. Obviously, it's a thing. But the, the fact that she came out and said it says a lot because she didn't have to say anything or even speak on it. So let me know what you think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree to book that one on one with yours truly. Purchase all my books and merch. Follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. Subscribe to my backup channel, guys. If you want to book a one-on-one, ladies, to get some uh, advice from a male's perspective, make sure you hit me up. Fellas, if you're trying to get advice from, you know, from your uncle wisdom, make sure you guys hit me up. 
I got this new dating show out called Cup and Reasons. If you guys are interested in being a guest, hit me up on IG or email email me directly to become a guest on the show. It's uh, every Monday and Thursday. So I look forward to seeing you guys on there. Hopefully we can get you guys linked up with some beautiful people out there. And like I said, purchase all my books and merch as well. Putting out new t-shirts designs every week for all you guys who are YouTubers. Got the new Uber YouTuber shirt as well as the hoodie. Make sure you guys pick one up. And uh, subscribe to my backup channel, guys. And if you're subscribed to this channel now and haven't been getting notifications, make sure you guys check it right now and select all notifications. That way you'll start getting all the notifications for my video. So with that being said, guys, this is Wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's to be maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto you them.